In the last throes of my 28th year He flew me out to Venice on a plane I won't be 27 again, never again On the way there you shared with me your ritual You perform for good fortune when you fly And then we bid the ground goodbye, goodbye So chilled, they're like this, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in uh, and joining us today. It's really, really good to have you. Um, so tell us, uh, tell us who you are first. So Dan, Dan Corn, yep. the man, um, the man here. Um, right. and, and introduce yourself, guys. Who have we got? I'm Jamie Shaw. I'm the drummer. Drummer, nice. Yeah, Joe, bass player. Cool. And Bob, guitarist. Bob the guitarist. He's already told me that if I speak to him, it's basically going to be nonsense. So just watch out for that, Julian. Um, so how long have you guys been, been playing together? Um, so Joe and I have been playing together for about five years, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, Bob joined about two years ago and Jamie joined about six months ago. Nice. Oh dear. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's have you, have you joined? Something like that. I think because I'm, yeah, I'm in the interview, I think I might have joined. Yeah. Are you Jamie still in your probation today? period? Is that what it is? <laughs> I, I've been coerced. Coerced. Yeah. Coerced. Yeah. Coerced. Yeah. coerced. coerced. Yeah. coerced. Yeah. You're kind of renowned for, being, for your lyrics, especially being sort of quite poetic and 
um, I read on your website, sort of, um, farewell laden. It's not going to be sombre, or mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the, the style of music that you play. Um, it is quite sombre at times, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, the band make it much more uh, lively than I'm prepared, than, than I'm able to. Uh, yeah, to well, do I think that, but I think you impart that in what you write mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, I think that the, cause it's, it's changed quite a lot. It used to be, well, it was just you, you on your own. And then another friend of ours played banjo with him, and then I joined on bass. But we were always kind of an acoustic thing. But recently, we've become quite a lot more kind of electric and rocky. So, so Bob well, joined on electric we still, guitar. We still sympathise with what's yeah, with we, the content, you know. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's not a, it's not a rock band, but it's but it's definitely got that harder edge to it now. But it has blues and folk and country and all kinds of other influences in it. Excellent. So those are your influences, and, and do you all kind of have that, or or have we got quite different tastes? in our personal lives. I think we have quite different tastes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that yeah. shows, so I think that's a really good thing. Yeah. I'm so always trying to edge a bit of hip hop in there. Yeah, I'd like oh, to be in a hip hop. Stop on that. Hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in the roots place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so tell me, so you're the drummer, what, what are your influences and what kind of, what are you bringing to the. Well, to I like a lot of like old soul and R&B mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff, so a lot of vin vintage sort of sounds. Uh, in the, Old school drummers, and so I guess I just like I like really groovy music, you know. Yeah. And so I'm trying to bring that, but I'm also, you know, I come from a pretty heavy rock background when I started. So when we need to rock out, like it can it can get loud, but then yeah. I'm supposedly I'm the quietest drummer in London. Like, really? Like I want to be. Yeah. Really? I don't want to be, that? but I just I just I I play in a lot in the folk scene, so it's like well we kind of need a drummer, but you can't play too loud because we're all so quiet. Yeah. So you just, there's a lot of tappy tappy. He's got a lot there of, you go. The quietest drummer in London. Yeah, we've just, got in, so in our midst today. But I actually Trademark. saw the quietest yeah. drummer in London the other day. He was so quiet I couldn't even hear him. So I think my title might have been and stolen. It, and it wasn't you. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was, yeah. I was fuming. Yeah. So you, your your last album. Where where can people find that and tell me a little bit about it? What? So that came out in March last year, yeah. March twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. um, it's our first album. It's available on Amazon, iTunes, the Spotify, and yeah. it's called that, Off the Sea. It's called Off the Sea. Off the Off Sea. The sea. Yeah. Off the Sea. Okay, and people yeah. can go and check that out online and now. If you're stuck, you can go to offthesea.uk as well. And it'll just no, take you straight there. Yeah. Take you straight there. But you are writing a new album, right? In January, that's right, yeah, you're getting getting into the studio recording. How was the process then? When you if you if you do you sort of come together and say, right, it's time for a new album. This is what we want it to be about, or this is mm. the kind of sound that we want to create. We want to move in a different direction. What's the what's the kind of starting that. point, and then moving forward, what happens from there? Um, I don't think there's, there's not really like a concept of the album, is no. it? It's, it's really a collection of songs. Um, I mean, the first one came together quite sort of, you know, that was kind of, we, we, we did the first one just as I more or less joined, and mm -hmm. it was actually just an opportunity really for me to refine what I was playing in the first place, and then I wrote it as we went along. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, things, Whereas things the next one's going to definitely they? be much yes. more free. Yeah. yeah. The, the aim is to kind of do it live as well. But we sort of reached yeah. a point. A few months ago, actually, where we where we suddenly, you know, we were well, we got at least ten songs that we want to record anyway. Right. So it's time to make another album. So it's time. Yeah, yeah you've got you've got the material there, and it's ready ready yeah. to go down. So you said that you want to try, you're going to record it live. Is that? I, I think so. That, that is kind of the the aim, isn't it? To mm. go for a much more honest yeah. approach. You know, Absolutely. Sort of everywhere. Okay, so the next time that people can see you together is the twenty second of December. Yeah. Then we can listen out for. Your new album? Yeah. Do we yeah. have a do we have a, a title in have you got a title one in place there? or is that are we open still to mm. We're open to we're things. open to suggestions, yeah. Mm -hmm. Answers oh, on a postcard. Answers yeah. oh, on a postcard. You should do that. You should put something up on Facebook and get your uh, yeah. get your yeah, fans to, to yeah. decide the next one. That's true. You know? No time wasters, please. Yeah, no time. <laughs> the album. Thanks for joining us on today's Tunnel Sessions. We were joined by Dan Korn and his band. If you like what you hear, get over to Facebook and check them out. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Helen Scott. We'll see you next time.